Tony Snell explains why his box teammates make him sad every day. Although Milwaukee Bucks stars Diana Santacampo, Eric Bledsoe and Chris Middleton have received most of the attention this season, Tony Snell has quietly developed into an important member of the club. Despite the fact that he's averaging just 80 points, 2. 2 rebounds and 1. 4 assists this year, he has logged a career-high 29. 9 minutes per contest and is one of Jason Kidd's most reliable wing defenders. At 6 apostrophe 7, Snell has the athleticism and length to defend shooting guards, small forwards and even some power forwards. Recently, he even matched up with DeMarcus Cousins on a couple of possessions. His versatility is arguably what makes him most valuable to the team. The fifth-year veteran has never been one to speak out, but interestingly enough, he opened up in a recent feature by Laurie Nickel of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. In that piece, Snell's life story was told from the time he was a young boy, through his high school and college days and through the start of his NBA career. One of the most interesting tidbits of information detailed the reason why his teammates make them sad on a daily basis. I go into the locker room and everybody's got their head down on their phone the whole time, said Snell. I'm the only one who's got my head up. He continued, it's the saddest thing ever. Technology is the worst. Everybody walks like this, Snell staggers with his head down, not even paying attention. It's the worst thing ever. Snell's comments most likely have to do something with the fact that he grew up in rough conditions in Los Angeles and was taught to always keep his head on a swivel, constantly aware of his dangerous surroundings. The socially driven age that most NBA players currently live in certainly doesn't fall in line with that level of awareness. It's worth noting that Snell does not seem to have a Twitter account, last posted in November on his verified Instagram feed and last posted in October on his verified Facebook page. Therefore, he has chosen to keep a low profile online up until this point. While the rest of his teammates and most of the entire league is fully involved on social media, Snell has taken an old-school approach and instead seems to value having real-life conversations and bonding with his teammates away from all of the technological advances that have shaped the atmosphere that most Americans live in today.